Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Alan Wake. I have been looking forward to this for quite a long time, um, in anticipation of Alan Wake 2. Now, full disclosure, I have played this game before. Uh, I have played on the original Xbox, uh, Xbox 360, and I uh, played it, I want to say, a couple of years ago. Again, in anticipation of Alan Wake 2, uh, but that was before... You know, way before Alan Wake 2 actually came out. Um, I do remember bits and pieces of the game. I don't remember too, too much. Um, I do remember it is somewhat of a fairly lengthy game. Um, at around 20-ish hours or so, I want to say. Maybe a little bit less. Um, but that said, I'm ready to dive into it. The less you know about the game, going into it, the better. So I'm really not going to say much. Um, so we're not going to continue. We're going to go new. Don't mind the crude graphics, by the way. Uh, this game out came out in like early 2010s, something like that. Um, and to be perfectly honest, except for like the little bit of blurriness, it still looks pretty good. Um, we're going to play on normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode I was in shock from the crash. Nightmare. I could hardly stand my feet. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, one other quick thing I want to say before we start: um, the writing is a little bit pretentious at times. Uh, he does keep going on and on. He does get super descriptive about stuff. He gets very analytical. That's just the game, okay? Um, if you watch my playthrough of Control where we did the DLC uh, that tied into Alan Wake, you already kind of know this, but the game notches it up to like even past 11. It's like 12 or 13 at some points. Just letting you know. Um, what is this? Alan Wake. So that's his book. I don't know how to zoom. Can't really do anything yet. So we could examine. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. So... That's interesting. Uh, the right, uh, clicking the right thumbstick changes sides, which is good. I actually like that. If you're shooting, um, then it certainly helps. How do you run? That's a jump. 
So we're gonna get to the lighthouse. So there are collectibles. Uh, the bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Now I don't know if what I've collected in again I've I've played this before. I don't know if what I've collected carries on um, to the new games or or what. But it's basically thermoses you collect. Wow, the camera is a little weird. Um, I'm actually going to. There was an option I saw here earlier um, about field of view. Is it here? Is it controls? Yeah. What did that do? Did it just bring the camera back further? Sorry, guys. Yes, all it does is bring the camera back. You know what? That's much better. And there's the man. Oh, jeez. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Ugh. You think you can just make up stuff? Ugh. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Ugh. Ugh. You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer! You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, because I'm gonna kill. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. That's a cool uh, voice filter. Okay, there's nothing around here, so let's move. There, somewhere. Huh. I wonder if that's uh, an actual QR code. I'll have to try that. Let's say to jump. You missed your deadline. Hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. There's the spread. Sorry, I'm not saying much right now. I'm just kind of letting the game play out. Uh, I can't sprint anymore. This way, this way. Is that him? Just standing? Oh, that's the side. I think that was him in the distance. Hurry. Oh. Bridge is gone. How's it gonna get across? Oh no! Stop! No! Damn it! Die! No! No! 
Sorry, what did you want from me? The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Sorry, I was just watching the thing. Um, the door. Tom the poet. Uh, how do how do I get out? Now we can go Follow through. The light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. And our health is recovering in the light. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. I'm going to read you a poem now and tell me what you think of it. Entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Okay. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. So, there's a flashlight meter on the top left. If I focus it, it drains. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> now you can take the reins of your dreams again. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. So if you pick up ammo here... Yeah, item limit reach. And you have 42 bullets. So, as I was saying, on the top left, you can see there's a flashlight um, icon with the two and a lightning next to it so if i hold it down you can see the flashlight is like draining that's because i'm like focusing my light uh it does slowly go back up um if i keep focusing until it reaches the very end then i change the, the two is a battery the amount of batteries i have so i just put in a new battery and same thing i think the max batteries in here is five There he is. So if you shine the flashlight on them, they obviously like think of it kind of like armor. Their armor degrades until it, uh, until you know it, it, it's gone. But the longer you keep the flashlight off them, oh shit! 
Um, they actually regain. Ah, I keep pressing B to dodge. <laughs> I kept pressing B to dodge. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, so the other thing is you, you can easily get uh, flanked in this game. That's one thing I do remember. This is it, bitch. Yeah, the LB button to dodge is a little weird. It's you have to get kind of used to it. Um, how do I change weapons? Oh, that's out. So the flare gun is kind of like, kind of like an insta kill, from what I remember. Just. Yeah. Assuming you hit the target, of course. Yet. I can't even see him now. I don't know. Whatever. You can rot down there. I can keep this up. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Falls. 
I noticed in the dream, actually, when the car was going around, uh, past a sign that said Night Springs. And, um, again, if you haven't watched my control playthrough, we'll find out soon what Night Springs means. The relevance of it to the game. You know, character models aside, the game is actually still... holds up pretty decently. Too. And some of the polygonal shapes, but... Come on, man, that looks that looks pretty nice. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. That's a sure. random thing to do. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could give an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Got enough pictures there? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Mm. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? I love how he pulled out his phone. He's like, yep. Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can Relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Aww. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. How did he know? I can't go up that way. Alan, we're here. Oh, damn. Come on, Yuppies. let's get back to the car. What you wanna you wanna take a picture together, bro? Oh, you you don't look like you wanna take a picture. That's a mighty fine hunting rifle. Oh, there's a lot of blue in there. I'm gonna ah, assume so that's poke. deer blue. You make a full service here. I've made all the arrangements, I drive the car, I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Okay. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. The riding does get better, I promise you. It really does. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'm a Mr. Stuckey. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Sync by Alan, Microsoft. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. The uh, monitor in the uh, there still places like this. In the car it says Town, synced by Microsoft. Everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh god, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, 
Right. Try the coffee. So much for Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here the is no longer stop. human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. <laughs> Anyways, the sudden stop, the international Are you on your bestseller. Own, or oh, is your wife sake. with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Can I can I talk now, please? Thank you. Uh international bestseller, so even in a, like a an out of nowhere not out of nowhere a nowhere town like this they still have cardboard cutouts of mr alan wake that's how famous your character is. that's how famous the guy is apparently um i doubt even stephen king or like jk rowling or whoever i doubt they have cardboard cutouts like this in like just some random diner well i mean that's it who knows right a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Okay. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. You'll you'll uh, come to love these guys. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. I keep Tune talking. number six in the jukebox, Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Sorry, I just kind of want to exhaust all their dialogue. I think that's it. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's actually going to play the song. that get stuck yeah you need to give it a good solid whack oh whoops now that's what i'm talking about yes this is it i've died and gone to hell To be fair, I kind of like the song, too. Alright, you, you chill there, buddy. I don't want to get copyright claimed. So I'm going to walk away and talk over the music. Uh, you okay there, lady? Go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always dead. Uh, I love when game narrative and dialogue talk over each other. She should change the bulb. This is what happens when he gets sloppy. And I'm talking over the music, so I don't have to cut it out. By the way, you will notice some similarities with Twin Peaks with this game. It's very heavily taken from it. Um. Uh, inspiration, that is. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't oh, make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks.
Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You say so. Cauldron Lake. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Yeah, I bet it has. And the guy's falling asleep. Even that sounds better than you singing. You alright? <laughs> oh, jeez. Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than its boom. Yeah, splendid, splendid! It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey. You call this Tom, eh? I wish. Um, my name is not Tom. The Andersons. But... They're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. The clinic, eh? And it sounds like my wife's outside. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. But I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Anyways. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye, Rose. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. I have one, too, from my dream. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner Here. was a real nut house. <laughs> You're not Can wrong. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Yeah, I kind of forgot there's a lot of music in this game. I would say I would turn on wow. streamer mode, but they didn't it's even have streamers down. when this game came out. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I've always loved this kind of scenery. Um, you Are know, you like sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Um, yeah, this kind of scenery with like uh, mountainous areas, uh, forested as well. Just absolutely gorgeous with like a lake. This is my kind of place. I'm not really one for like beaches or anything like that. I mean, beaches are great and all, but this is my kind of spot. Especially if there's like, uh, yeah, like snow covered uh, peaks. It's beautiful. There's a charm to this kind of rustic, uh, rustic looking cottage, too. Like the type of it, you know? Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? 
A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? The Temple of Shadow and Mist, The Labyrinth of Me, In Her Dreams to Prevail, and Kept from Sleep. The Labyrinth of Me. That's funny. These titles are actually very relevant. Relevant to the to the story, to the game. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <sighs> Damn. Weird. It looked like that woman we saw in the diner. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Looks like the cabin in the lake with someone in a... Is that an astronaut? Or diving uniform, maybe? The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Nineteen seventy, damn. And no one bothered to change the calendar since the seventies. See this is a really nice cozy area. No TV though. How are you gonna watch Netflix? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less, but We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Call her. You're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. Now some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Indeed. Man. I'd love to just like What am I focusing on? Oh, the left one. The water was clear Stuck. but dark. It looked very deep. Yeah, it does. I'd love to, like, just sit there and, like, dip my feet in there, you know what I mean? Alright, so how do I get the power on here? The power cable goes to that shed over there. Oh, well then. Didn't I move the field of view? Why is it like so close again? Maybe during certain segments it like gets An old close. generator had been connected to the power cable. This is the shoddiest looking generator I've ever seen. It literally looks like it's about to fall apart. Look at that gauge, it's jumping all over the place. Okay. Honey, we might blow up. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Once been the site for a love story, maybe it would be that again. Uh, okay. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. 
That's like way across the way. It's pretty heavy mist, eh? How many of you guys would get scared like staying in a place like this? I mean, like, this is your only exit. God forbid something happens. This is your only exit. Alice? Honey? Certainly spacious, too. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh? Is it you? Well, hello. I'm here. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Why aren't you the surprise? I mean, I would think you would be. Surprise! Oh. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> oh yeah, that was a little harsh of a reaction. I get why he's pissed, but I mean, he took it way too far. Way too over the top. from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Convenient. So, how do we get into a car? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Yeah, so what happened? So we dove into the into the lake. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Just the can. Damn. And there goes the car. I 
I wasn't paying attention. Was that the same car we came here with? The same car that was on the ferry? I honestly don't remember. Hello? Can you get out there? No. Well, that's a bright ass light. Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. So you can access them with the back button. So yeah, it looks like I've gotten a lot of them. And uh, I guess that answers my question about if uh, collectibles transfer over. Or carry over to a new thing. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. You could say I was Alan Wake. I know. I'm sorry. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. So... Um, the pages are, I might as well say it, it'll become apparent eventually. They're basically, whatever's happening on the pages is happening to us. Uh, you get the pages out of order, but, um, it's, it's a, it indicates what's going to happen to you, to us. I heard them before I saw them swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. I feel like this is kind of, uh... What's it called? Um, spoiling the game a little bit. We'll, we'll read more later. I don't want to spoil too much of the story. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Can you imagine just getting lost out here, man? 
Oh wow, that water looks pretty good. I mean, certain areas you can tell, but yeah, that water still looks pretty damn good. Better than some modern games, side. anyway. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe. So the thing about this game is there are a lot of a lot of open areas where you're supposed to actually explore and find collectibles and shit. But it looks like I've already done most of that. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need two premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> I mean, is it though? Can I see the place first before I... Wow. I forgot about that oppressive mist, man. Like, that is so cool. The way it just like kind of distorts your your uh, your surroundings like that. Okay. I just picked up. So I have three missing pages. I might just be picking up the same ones I picked up before. Why is it taking a look like? The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it. Yeah, I already read that one. This maybe we can read this one. Garage floor and tried to shake the cup. No. Nope. Anyways, whatever. Let's just keep going. second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, convenient. Oh, also convenient. I guess we know uh, who's sponsoring this game. We're not sponsoring. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, sponsoring. Drawing Having sponsorships. Trying it's the latest thing. Incontestably proven health benefit like you kill two birds with one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down at the same time. Okay. Yes. Oh, right Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? Fuck. 
fuck. This is bad. Oh. He's moving the whole freaking cabin. Holy shit. Well, there it goes. Where did the... Did he go down there too? The bulldozer had gone over yeah. the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate. But I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Look at that oppressive mist, man. This is so cool. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. So there are these arrows. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh, cool. Yes, please. I mean, I'll save this. Can I just turn on the light? Oh, I can. That did the trick, I guess? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season! I need more bullets. Are there any bullets? There are no bullets. Yeah, you need the gun to, to finish them off. You can't you can't kill with just a flashlight. Thing we gotta worry about, unfortunately. When I saw the Seems river like. below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Why? It looks pretty good. Do I got vertigo? No, I don't. So we go around this way. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Stucky. Let's talk about this. Oh, wow, ten batteries. Um, I'm guessing I have to cross. Damn, it's so easy to get lost out here, eh? Oh, 
Whoops. Okay. Um, I don't think I can jump across. I think I have to go there. Maybe I jump across that way. Maybe I go up there. Because I feel like dropping in the water might be like insta death, you know? Oh, come on. I have no idea where I'm going, guys. Oh, but I'm going the right way. Wait, is this where I came from? Oh god, I got turned around, didn't I? I think I may... Yeah, I got turned around. Fuck. Right, this is where we saw the shadow of Stucky, I'm guessing. And that's where we got the revolver bullets. So I have to go this way. Oh! Staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. What would you do in this scenario? Being stuck out in the middle of the woods, people trying to fucking kill you. I have 14 batteries. I thought the limit was six. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. Okay. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Another flimsy ass generator. Oh, hi. Oh, there's three of them. Baby, I'm getting the hang of the combat and dodging and everything. Manuscript page and pick up a shoddy.
Okay. Run to the light. I guess that's good. Yeah, looks like it. I guess we climb here. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> I see the light. Run towards the light. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm... I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on here. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, walkies. Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> It's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night now. Uh, usually dogs just go run. Dogs don't go running off willy nilly normally. Um, well, not that I've ever had a dog. I unlocked any of these pages. No, there was three missing pages total. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Is it? Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Barry Burster is the best with no coat. Monster dog <laughs> is second best. The famous dog is. Well, which one's best on a budget? Oh. It's both of them, I think, yeah. And why can't I grab the axe? Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh, shit. Ah! Use up one of the batteries, but that's okay. The uh, safe haven. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, is that... I don't feel like that's any Randy closer, really. If you say so, bro. If and you say so. Would they disappear if I go in the light? I guess I just reset. Yeah, I feel like these guys are just going to keep respawning. Ow, motherfucker. That's right, assholes. Fuck off. Um, and let's heal, I guess. Oh, we are healed. Okay. Is this where we want to go? Okay. Okay, a lot. <laughs> this is like some Silent Hill mist, man. It's pretty fucking impressive. I didn't mean to fire off a flare, but in a way, I'm kind of glad I did. Oh, that's definitely a fucking trap if I've seen one. so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. 
Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. There you go. Now you know what Night Springs is. It's kind of like the uh, the uh, Twilight Zone. Okay, and I think that's actually a good place to stop. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can save. I think it's just uh, checkpoints. Um. Yeah, I know once I get that, something's going to happen. And I think, uh, yeah, we'll keep this episode a little bit shorter. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.